Y'all already know that I'm always here. That 93 premium, man. So, I'm keeping the C5, man. Keeping the C5. I thought, I think that's financially responsible, you know. I already told you guys that I do want to get a house. I do want to get my finances a little, you know, level up a little more. Um, shout out to uh, C4. They should be sponsoring me because I'm always drinking one of these. And I think I should stop because it's not something that I want to continue doing. But for right now, it works. Um, I am keeping the C5. It, like I said, I, th I think it's... Uh, I don't, I, don't, I don't think it's time right now to buy a, a, a new car or a more expensive car, expensive car. The more expensive the car is, the more expensive the parts are, the more expensive to maintenance, um, all that all that jazz. So, I mean, I wanna keep the C5, make the best C5 on YouTube. I don't see a lot of uh, modded out uh, Corvettes, C5 Corvettes on YouTube other than uh, um, what's his face? Mike Mike. Love his channel. Like what he's doing with the C5 and the C6. Uh, in every other channel that I do watch, like My Corvette Life. Um, what's the other one? He has a Z06 ZLO. I can't remember his name. All of those are great channels. Very informative channels. Something that the C5 community, community needs. I'm more of a... This is what I'm going to do to my car. This is how it's looking. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to race this. I'm going to raise that. Uh, another person. That's my my channel is more for entertainment. Um, the others are more informative. That are literally to the to the T on what they do to their cars, which is great because I feel like those videos are the most informative that they are. So shout out to both of those channels. Uh, but again, I'm keeping mine. I don't see anything wrong at the moment. Everything's looking good. Um, I'm going to get a quote from a paint job just to um, retouch the paint on a few parts that are fading out. I'm not gonna do a full paint job on it. I just want to have the areas that are, you know, that are fading out, give those a little bit more color. And just the rest of the vlog, um, or just the rest of the video is gonna be shorts bits and pieces on what I've had been filming for the for the past month or two um, I haven't I haven't really been uploading because I was still trying to decide on if, if I was selling it or if, if, if I was keeping it um, I have no issues with the car I really don't um, it's, it's just it's just a want to get a, a new or better car but there's nothing wrong with the c5 everything's working out good the only problems that I have had is the uh, the 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 coolant hose uh, uh, snapping and I had coolant everywhere and I literally had to I had one of my buddies shout out to Austin man he's always helping me out with the C5 he used to own a C5 that's why he's, uh, he's, he's he still has love for the C5 Corvette he helped me out and uh, what else what other issues that I've had on the car oh and the overheating it was to the point that I just, I just, I, I would, I wasn't comfortable driving. It would get up to 240, 245, 250, just cruising. I mean, just going 70 miles an hour, and it, it was crazy. I thought it was because it had some uh, air in the uh, coolant, but turns out it, it could have been it a little bit because before then, um, I was running at 230, 235 max, and uh, it sometimes got up to 240 on a very hot day. But after the coolant hose ripped and replaced it, I added some, because it, it drained out all my coolant. So I I, I re uh, I filled it up with coolant. After that, it was going up to 240, 245, 250, even 260, and I had to turn it off. And uh, I thought it was uh, air in the uh, coolant. I did everything that the manual says to bleed it out. Took time to do that. Still was getting up to 240, 245. So I knew I had the front lip. I knew it was, uh, I had to do something with the front lip, but I didn't think it was anything drastic. Um, and I didn't want to get rid of the front lip because it adds, 
it adds more character to the C5. It looks more aggressive. It looks better. It just all the way around. It just looks amazing. If anybody wants that um, that lip, I still have it with me. Hit me up. Um, I'm willing to sell it to any subscriber or anybody that uh, wishes to 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 get one. And uh, but finally decided to take it off one day. Um, took it off. I have not had any issues, man. I stay around. I stay around this um, temperature. And uh, on some hard pulls, whenever I do some digs, some rolls, um, I've seen it go up to 210 max. I mean, that's forcing the the engine. It doesn't go past that. So the front lip was was a big, big difference. I mean, taking it on, I mean, putting it on, taking it off, huge difference. I'm going to get another one, but it's going to have the one that has the, uh, the insert in the middle so that the air can flow into the radiator. So that's coming soon getting a new hood um probably carbon fiber side skirts I'm trying to get a rear diffuser too carbon fiber all of that costs a lot of money all of that's going to take some time and uh right now as far as interior i'm not going to do anything with it right now i'm just going to enjoy the ride enjoy the car um that's pretty much it the rest of the video is going to be um just a lot of things that i've been doing these past few months been very very busy a lot of traveling and uh it's pretty much it and i do need to uh lower the i'll, I'll make a separate video i'll need i need to lower the uh the right part of my of my uh, of, of the front of the car the left side is lowered on stock bolts all of it's lowered on stock bolts but this was lowered um and that one i think they forgot to lower because it's it's about three inches a gap and that one has like this much so it's it's been bothering me and it looks it looks it looks ugly like that and i have a square setup anyway so i need to lower that or i need to get some uh, i think those are 18 i need to get some 17 inch wheels and uh, that way it has that corvette look so that's that's all uh, like i said i'm keeping the car everything's working great yeah, get a Friggin Z yeah Carbon fiber everywhere, brother. Hold on, man. Gotta do this continuous. Look at this car, man. That's crazy. Ooh. Carbon fiber everything, brother. Look at that. The whole, all the. The whole trunk is carbon fiber. Yeah. I thought it was just the uh, the wing. No, the whole thing is that. Mm. Wow, that's cool too. That's my soldier tribute. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. That's is it? Is it? Uh, has any aftermarket stuff? As far as like engine, all headers, good. no caps. Uh, it made 664 rear wheel, 709 torque. Mm. Can I have this car? Yeah, you take the payment with it. Goodness gracious, man. This thing is crazy. I asked you, have you, uh, so the hype is for room. Have you ever, so I went on a room for shits and giggles, right? Uh -huh. To see what this car would be worth in today's market. Hey, they offered me, with 43,000 miles, they offered me $53,000. 53 with 43,000 miles. And then they, you can get matching valve stems, which is what I got. I got the Epicite valve stems. Anything done to the engine? Engine? No, pretty, I just got, stock. I got the car in January. We ran a barber okay. last weekend. I put a little, I put a little, we fabricated a, a small cage. Oh, in what kind of seats the are these? Seat. Those are Cypher seats. Nice. I put tow hooks on it, I put a short throw shifter in it. I like I that. I put the MGW short throw shifter in it. I like that. But it's bone stock. Mufflers, everything. Are you going to do anything with the uh, uh, with with the engine at all? Well, I bought it. I bought it to do track weekends with. Okay. And what I want to do first, the first thing I want to do is get the safety done. Yeah. Which I did the harness so I could put the. The man, it's, it's really in it. clean. Or I did the cage, so I put the harnesses in it. So and clean. the next thing I'll probably do is work on bigger brakes for it. Yeah. 
Um, like the Z06 kind of, uh, the, not the six I piston? Know, I don't know if I'm going to do like a, a Z06, C6 Z06 brake on it or maybe some bear brakes or Willwood brakes on it. It's really nice, man. I'll, Thank you. I was going to get a yellow one. The yellow one, my first choice, but it's what he had that's really grown on me. Yeah. Same, same thing wife, with my... Uh, I, I, we, we nicknamed it. My wife called. We bought it in Destin. Uh, we're driving it home. And my wife, she, she called and she goes, well, how's Chiquita running for the banana? Uh -huh. And so we kind of affectionately named, named it. We kind of jokingly call it Chiquita. And she was filming me last weekend down at Barber. And she goes, man, she goes, you cannot miss that car coming around that corner down the front straight. It's, it's so bright. So we, we were gonna nick, we were gonna rename it Sharpie uh -huh. after the highlighter. Yeah. But thank you so much for allowing us to stay in your cute home. Appreciate it, bro. They lying in a cute home. <laughs> it is it is nice. It's a nice little nice. place though. TV and everything got. Get a nice little gated area, a nice trees. You did bring your hammock? Nice little mini vacation. You know, we're gonna go see the Canelo uh, Billy Joe Saunders fight. We're excited for that. Crazy. Let me see that ring. Hold on. Why are they walking like they own something, man? Tacos was that steak fries? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Have you tried it? Try it. This is yours, right? Wow. I'm moving to Texas. That's <laughs> it. I'm moving to Texas. I gotta I gotta try the, the fries too. What'd you get? You're in Texas and Asian you get Asian food. food. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Officially at a Canelo Alvarez fight. Zoom in on the front, front face again. Here at the Canelo fight. This is the tres, tres leches pancakes. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Enjoying it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm literally living my life on the edge right now. Um, my uh, <laughs> my coolant hose exploded. I did about five, six pulls, and my coolant hose exploded, and my hood just started to smoke so much. I thought I had blew my motor, 
and uh, right now I'm just trying to make it safe home because I'm like uh, an exit or two left and if you can see my coolant temp is has risen so I gotta park it again I just let it cool off for a minute drive it for a little a little bit I'm not trying to get the temperature up to you know 250 260 uh, you can't really see the smoke but <laughs> oh I thought my motor was gone so I saw the smoke and I called uh, a friend of mine that owns a C6 he had a C5 before and uh, he uh, pretty much nailed what it was well I hope that's what it is I'm gonna come and fix it tomorrow it's the hose the radiator hose um, it's 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 broken right where it connects it, it literally like it there's there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a cut right there where all the coolant just went out and all the coolant was on the road and everything and my my so my engine bay was just it was it was it was bad i thought i had blown my motor up and i thought that was it you know but uh good thing it was just a coolant hose trying to make it home i'm gonna try to do it again loving life on the uh edge you know what i'm saying smoke again. I don't know if you guys can see the smoke. Maybe this is a sign I need to get a 5th gen Camaro or a C6. Or maybe this just means I should keep it because I have somebody coming to look at it tomorrow. And it's nothing major. You know, I'm not, I'm not ripping anybody off. It's nothing major. It's just a coolant hose. I'll show you guys tomorrow what it is, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I have such a good heart that I don't, I even feel bad about uh, selling things that aren't, you know, in good condition. And I was having a lot of fun with those pools, man. I was having so much fun too. It's crazy. I think that, I don't know, man, this, this car, the, the previous owner said it dined at 3, 380. I feel like it's like 420, 430. It pulls hard. It is pulling hard. But yeah, wifey's in the back. Man, I appreciate you so much. You don't know how much I... Even though sometimes I'm in a bad mood, but I want you to know that I appreciate you, okay? She was sleeping, and I had to call her up and be like, Baby, can you please get me? My car just blew up on me. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Just like that, it's fixed. Just a coolant hose, right from right there. This is where it split off right here. Just fixed it, just replaced it. Right now the coolant is right at 176. 